Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How's everyone doing? I am the Oklahoma Tomcat. In this uh, video blog, I want to talk about autonomous trucks. Autonomous trucks has been getting a lot of uh, attention by truck drivers uh, for several years now. And it's really, I'm seeing a lot of posts and stuff like that and uh, videos where truck drivers are concerned about this, afraid that truck drivers are going to be replaced. First of all, I want to talk about the fact that in 2021, uh, True Simple stated that their autonomous trucks were going to be on the road without anyone on board. That time's come and passed. And now I guess it's being said that it's going to be this year, by the end of this year, that Thomas trucks are going to be on the road. In fact, uh, Swift, from what I understand, is going to be uh, starting to use autonomous trucks going across country. However, the autonomous trucks are going to have a person on board. In fact, Thomas trucks are already being used, just not cross country yet. Um, True Simple has autonomous trucks in California, I mean Arizona, Arizona and Texas, which run short runs. And again, there is a driver that has to be behind the wheel. I think this is going to be the case uh, when autonomous trucks start going cross country. Autonomous trucks are going to happen. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. However, are they going to replace the truck driver? I doubt it. Um, just like airplanes today have autopilot, and the pilot, once the plane's at altitude and cruising, the plane goes into autopilot, and you have to have two pilots on the, uh, in the controls at all times. If I'm not mistaken, there's like four pilots all together on a commercial airplane, and they rotate out during the flight. Um, but in any case, two pilots have to be at the controls at all times, even when the plane is an autopilot. Cars, self-driving cars are already on our streets. I've seen many videos where these cars will get pulled over because the driver is distracted or asleep. Every state requires that a driver be behind a wheel on a self-driving car, and that driver has to be paying attention. If that car gets in an accident, the driver gets in trouble. And this is going to be the same case with the trucks. I don't see any lawmaker, unless he's paid off, and that's going to be a few that may do it, but I don't see enough lawmakers saying, that 80,000 pound truck can go down the road without a driver behind the wheel. There's been test runs on it and stuff like that, but the test runs have always been controlled and the route pre-surveillanced and police around and all that stuff. And the test runs are only a short distance. Um, but as far as operating without any uh, monitoring or anything like that, or a car following behind that's able to that can disable the truck, no, they're not going to allow trucks to be operate without anyone behind the wheel. And there's a good reason for this. And truck drivers should be able to see what I'm talking about here. Construction zones that just pop up. Not even a lines or anything in place or anything like that. It's going to be hard for a self-driving truck to be able to navigate through the construction zone when there's not even any lines that's clearly marked on the road. Um, you have cases of detours that pop up. Now, nowhere, because there's an accident or something like that. I've been detoured off the interstate onto a dirt road before. 
And Thomas Truck's gonna have trouble with that. Um, you have accidents that just come by, things like that. There's so many variables that, things that happen where a human may have to take over, you know, not to mention a Thomas Trucks, uh, well, Thomas Vehicles in general, trucks haven't been on the road on their own enough yet, but autonomous ve uh, vehicles, the cars and stuff, don't have a very good record, okay, they do, they have been getting in accidents, and uh, I don't see lawmakers having that much faith in a robot driving an 80,000 pound truck, not to mention, who's going to be held liable? I mean, we already seen made national news, but you can also look up in other states and stuff. The same things happen, where a truck driver gets arrested and charged and given ten years in jail for, you know, uh, getting in an accident and uh, causing a death. He's gonna go to jail. <laughs> I don't see them uh, arresting the CEO of a company. Uh, you know, when an eighty thousand pound truck kills someone. Um, and that will happen. That being said, I do want to add one thing, though. I mean, the self-driving trucks, they're always going to require humans, so, you know, truck driver ain't going to be out of business, you know. And, in fact, the truck driver will have to be trained, skilled, and just like normal. In fact, probably even more so um, to be able to take over these trucks you know, and drive them safely when either the computer messes up or, and that's the other thing that, you know, it's going to be considered is fact, what happens when the computer messes up, you know, um, somebody's going to have to take control of that truck, if nothing else, to be able to get it off the road. But with that being said, do I still support the autonomous trucks? The answer is no. And this is why. Studies have shown that self-driving cars, even though there's a human behind a wheel, can get in accidents. Um, and my theory behind that is because humans have a very short attention span. You know, especially when you have to sit for long periods of time without... Uh, anything to do but just watch a road or watch computers or watch monitors it's a very tiring thing and I see that with myself if I spend too much time sitting and doing nothing I get tired it doesn't matter how much sleep I have I get tired I because boredom sits in I'm always I always have to stay moving or doing something you know um, and I think that's the case with most people, is you can only sit and watch something for so long before you get tired and bored. And that, that tiredness isn't because you're physically tired, it's because you're bored to death. This causes people to end up finding something else to do which distracts them from what they're supposed to be doing. And I think, I mean, this is my theory, that a lot of these accidents happen that could be avoided because the person is distracted. I mean, we already have trouble with distracted driving, don't we? I mean, a lot of people do it. I mean, I see people passing by and I always look down at the vehicle passing and see, you know, are they distracted? And a lot of people are. Even with all the laws out there, all the campaigns and everything, people are texting on their phone. I've even seen somebody using a computer while driving. Uh, reading the paper. Of course, people don't do that anymore, but back when I first started driving, people didn't. Uh, <coughs> putting on makeup. Shaving. <laughs> 
all this other stuff that people are doing while driving. Uh, can you only imagine with self-driving vehicles and even more dangerous a self-driving truck? People are going to be bored. You know, they're not going to be able to sit in that driver's seat and just do nothing and twiddle their thumbs while watching and make sure the truck isn't going to get them in an accident. Um, instead, they're going to be on their phones. They're going to be, you know, reading the paper. If the paper was still around. You know, or any number of other things, you know. Shoot, reading a story, a book, or what you call that on their tablet, um, the e-books, um, and this is what worries me, it's not that I'm going to be replaced, I'm not going to be replaced, it's that we're going to see more accidents because of the self-driving trucks, because that guaranteed that computer's going to mess up, or there's going to be something happening up ahead that the computer cannot decipher, you know, what to do. And there's going to be more accidents, you know. Um, and that's my worry, is, you know, is that. And that should be everyone's, the thought on everybody's mind. Because despite what you're told, computers are not without flaw. Remember, the computers are only good, as good as the people who's operating them and the people that's programmed them and only as good when it comes to navigation is what's the signal to the satellites you know um, and the processor and all this other stuff how many people have computers how many people have had computers crash on them okay and a lot of truck drivers can even say, how many people have GPSs? How many people have GPSs misguide them? Many times. So, I know this probably really upsets the nerds out there, but computers are not perfect. They're not. And that's why you have to have somebody behind the wheel. And that person has to be awake. That person has to be alert to be able to take over that wheel when things go bad. Um, and many other things can also mess up, you know, the navigation system, you know, the weather and things like that. You know, planes have to, you know, that's why you have to have pilots behind the wheel uh, in the control of the plane, you know, ready because, you know, things can mess up their navigation systems too. I've actually seen a true story on a plane crash where ice buildup has caused uh, and the ice buildup was on the navigation systems um, caused the uh, plane to the computer to say the plane was actually uh, ascending when the hero was really descending and the pilots took over and depended on the navigation system and unfortunately they descended even faster because they thought the plane was ascending. Things like that. Um, and that was an unfortunate accident, which cost a lot of people their lives. And same thing can happen in trucking. We've seen it um, in Denver, where a, uh, not, I mean, uh, in Colorado, yeah, actually, I think it was in the city of Denver. But in Colorado, there on I-70, truck driver took out a lot of people's lives, you know. So, and I know that was a human, but I'm just illustrating how trucks can, you know, unfortunately kill lots of people. It's a very serious job, and we can't leave it to computers. So, if you are one of the people that's going to be behind these autonomous trucks. I guess Swift is going to be the first company to give it a try, from what I understand. Keep in mind, you have to stay alert. You have to be able to stay alert, stay focused, 
and stay awake just as if you were driving. And uh, for the general public, you better pay attention because if I am wrong and your lawmaker decides, you know, we're going to allow uh, autonomous trucks without a human behind the wheel, you should be very concerned. You know, uh, I think it's going to be state by state for the most part. Um, it's going to be state laws that's going to dictate on how Thomas trucks are driven in their state or operated in their state. So make sure you pay attention to this uh, as it rolls out and make sure you uh, let your lawmakers that you would do want a person behind the wheel. You know, um, Thomas trucks, okay. You know, me personally, I'd, I don't see me having one again because I know myself. I know I will not be able to stay focused behind the wheel if I'm not doing nothing. I'll, I'll get very bored. Probably fall asleep. Y'all take care. Bye.